Good morning, folks. Quick update. There are at least eight dead in that northwest mudslide reported yesterday. We're starting with one of the newer animations from Goddard's Scientific Visualization Studio showing the extreme swings in temperature over the U.S. during January. A quote from the conference. One of the worst winters for parts of this country contrasted a phenomenally warm Alaska. Well, it's not just temperature extremes, and it's not just the United States. Breaking from weather quickly to find a mid-sized tremor unusually north of Canada there. Top watch zone remains the west coast of the Americas, especially with Chile taking the equivalent of a global average weekly pressure release just on its coastline alone. Petro spill back in Ohio. Residents have smelled it for days, apparently. Shellfish testing positive for PSP in New Zealand. Meanwhile, there are reports of flooding in southeastern Australia, where you'll remember that tail tried to stay anchored back to Sydney. Not quite dead on that locale, but pretty close with the moisture visibly doing that crest of the South Island while holding on to the west for all it's got. Even further west, west of Australia, we have Gillian's remains refusing to die. She is expected to go to the left, but will keep watch. The big cell we watched yesterday here did move in quickly. Weather shares from the convergence, please. Take a look at the drive around that dark low reinforced where it meets that high and white below. No major watches in this part of the world. Let your local forecasts and radar inform the evening situation. Earth took a gamma ray burst yesterday morning. Came from way down south in the sky. Looking at the sunspots, this is one of the more impressive days of 2014 without a doubt. Let's begin departing. The absolute lead is just a lone delta turning away. Meanwhile behind it, we're seeing an excellent chance for magnetic mixing, but the umbras themselves needed to get it together and grow. Also Earth's magnetic connectivity to the sun is nearby. Then we have the primary CME watch, the active region with a big leading umbra and two spots of mixing, the backside of which might be small but technically the second delta spot I see. Finally, the group in coming up north still needs to grow, but the magnetics are there if she does. Of course, sunspots or not, the flaring matches our potential for a coming grand minimum. Point of update, yesterday's CME, which we said would likely ding our little blue rock, is confirmed by Dr. Phillips at spaceweather.com and indeed both NOAA and NASA's annual spirals confirm the initial analysis given yesterday. Glancing blow is likely. Coronal hold down south is directly earth facing today. Again the southernmost portion is the strongest, strong as they get, however the moderate power to the north appears to be fairly unrestricted by umbral or coronal magnetic fields. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.